So this is just obviously not gonna work for me anymore. I've got to take some drastic measures. <laughs> now this sectioning pattern is somewhat like what I would do in the salon. Um, in the salon I'm much more clean, but <laughs> I'm using my scissors to kind of define out around my face frame exactly where I want those pieces to sit. So I'm kind of establishing the length as well as a face frame and for a pixie it's really really important anyone who's worn a pixie knows those pieces are crucial right around your face so that's why I hold them down when I cut them and then I'm holding everything out cutting somewhat of a square I make the craziest faces when I cut my hair um, and yeah everything's just kind of cut really square a little bit tighter around the ears I make sure and texturize as much as I can because I like lots and lots and lots of texture within my pixie and I have fine hair but I do have a lot of it so it takes that so just yeah kind of getting in all those little details details are extremely important to me um, which is why it's crazy I would even do this on my own but yeah so now the other side I'm just matching exactly what I did on that side um, using my scissors and getting somewhat of a square shape and getting lots and lots of nice check texture in there and then the trick is really just to make sure that it's balanced and that it's the same as the other side which is why it's so nice to have those pieces in the front to guide you I let my bangs down just so I can see where they hit um, and I love I love exactly where they're hitting and exactly how much length I took and now I'm going through I'm kind of parting my hair down the center back and um, and then I'm taking diagonal back sections starting from just behind my ear and detailing out around my hairline so each section that I take I try to detail it out as much as possible so there's not a ton of work to go through afterwards so I'm taking section by section cutting a rounded shape so I'm using my razor because I can actually cut a rounded shape and travel around the back of my head there it is so you can see it's I'm really dang proud of myself that I'm getting it even because it's so different you guys cutting it on your own head than someone else's head I definitely do not suggest doing it see how I'm traveling around the back of my head while I'm doing it to me I've been doing this for so many years that it is somewhat like muscle memory and and really feeling the hair so I'm actually using my fingers to feel where it's super thick to kind of tailor it into my neck using my feather razor and I typically don't use my feather razor for the entire haircut either I would use my straight razor but I definitely don't trust myself that much um, when I'm not able to see absolutely everything going on so then yeah that was exhausting and now I have a whole nother side to do so um, just kind of going back and forth there you see I cross check that last section in the back just to make sure they actually are even and then I'm going through with my um my texturizing shears doing a scissor over comb and it's hard to figure out those angles um but really just kind of doing it blindly was kind of the best answer to be honest to get what I needed to get I really just wanted it to be nice and nice and soft it just I can't like express more how much those little details and tailoring all of those little pieces in add to the ultimate end result. It's everything. So little by little, inch by inch or centimeter by centimeter, I'm getting myself to that point. And so using, you notice I pick up every single tool. So now I'm letting out my crown area. I part that in half clip away half and then the other half I'm using my feather razor I start out with my feather razor with a little bit of extra length and then I end up you'll see I go back through and I kind of make everything shorter <laughs> like in way more of a short pixie but but I'm um, taking everything up so I did things on the side so I, I established the perimeter and then I cut everything through the top of the crown to connect that perimeter through now I'm letting out the midsection of my hair and to be honest this is when I decided I, I start establishing the perimeter on the sides and then I'm like okay let's go for it right here and the feather razor, I kind of am like, no, it needs to come off, like this hair has gotta go. So then I start getting really liberal with how much hair I'm taking off. Um, I do both, same on both sides, and then I start working my way through the midsection. And I wanna just create 
a lot more movement in my crown like some really short kind of jumpy pieces in the crown and through the top right there because if it flops it just looks like somewhat of like a bowl cut <laughs> rather than like that nice rounded shape through the top so you'll see I'll, I'll even exchange my scissors with my texturizing shears and then back and forth so now I'm using my scissors to deep point cut <laughs> there's so much hair on my shirt right now <laughs> but I don't like to use a cape because I want to see everything um, I'm using a little bit of uh, it's water with a little bit of essential oils dripped in just to give me a nice cutting lotion and here now I'm using the texturizing shear again and I go a little bit crazy with the texturizing shear um, when I cut my own hair versus even a client's hair I might not really even pick up a texturizing shear or maybe just very little bit but it was very nice tool to use to be able to kind of really reassure that I was taking less is more approach and going little by little and shorter and shorter and shorter as I went so that the pixie took on the correct shape rather than committing to something and being like oh now I have to cut all the rest of the hair that short right um, so little by little I'm centimetering my way through the haircut getting my pixie to flow exactly the way that I like it and to be honest with you I am actually crazy happy with it um, there's lots of details I just kind of kept going back in and kept going back in and using different techniques to get it to where it wasn't heavy and it was feeling like it was nice and tight to my head but with all the little flicks and all the little details that I love and that are important to me because with a pixie it's in the details guys.